Once again, we are stepping into the world of dogs here on Expresso, and we are back with animal behaviorist Karis Bryan teaching us or helping us to teach our dogs new tricks. And this morning, we have a very cool one for you. We are teaching you how to make your dog jump over things. Karis, welcome back to Expresso. Nice Good to have you. Thank you. This is a very nice trick, um, uh, you know, to teach your dog. But, you know, where do you start? I mean, this is not something you can do just... Just like that. It's like any behavior. You need to build it up slowly. Yeah. Now, we've got Jack with us this morning. Jack, if I can get him back here. Come, Jack. <laughs> now, Jack is a very bouncy dog. And yeah. I'm sure a lot of people watching have pretty hyper dogs at home that seem to run around and are all over the furniture and different yeah. things. One of the best things to do with dogs who are bouncy is give them appropriate things to bounce over. Okay, all right. So if you want to teach your dog to jump, now some people go to agility classes, which people have probably seen. It's the obstacle course where dogs go over jumps and they go in tunnels, yes. and that's fun. But if you don't have access to that equipment and you still want to do something, mm. this is what you can do at home. Perfect, you and need this is something nice you can do inside or outside. Inside or outside? Yeah. You need a broom, okay? <laughs> Love it. Everyone All right. has one Everyone's of these. got one of these, or you yeah. can find something similar, and a chair, or you can use a few bricks. All right, All right, cool. Now, the way to start this is to put the broom at an angle so that it's not high. Jack, yes. come, Jack. Let's get Jack back in here. Yay. There we go. Jack There's our star. Come, big boy. All right. And All then right. you put your dog, sit, into a seat. You can use a treat the first time. Okay. Come. Yes. All right. And reward him for hopping over. Okay? That's it. Now I'm going to go around the back. Come, Jack. Go around. Okay, so you don't want him to jump back jump. over. Yeah. All right. You can, but it's better to if, if they flow one direction. If they flow one direction. All right. Now, once they've mastered the parallel or the, the at an angle jump, yeah. you can put it in a couch cushion. You've just got to make sure that it'll fall down yeah. easily. You don't want your dog to hurt themselves. Exactly. So just and also take in consideration, I'm sure, the, the height because maybe your dog can't reach. Exactly. Do right. Jack's pretty tall. If you've got a Dachshund, you might be doing this. <laughs> yeah. Stepping over it, maybe. If you've got yeah. a Weimaraner, you might be very tall. Yeah. Now, just a quick note. In terms of jumping, you don't want to make your dog jump until they're full grown. If you've got a growing puppy, yeah. especially a large breed puppy, yeah. do not encourage them to do these jumps till their bones are solid, till they're full okay. grown. You can speak to your vet about exactly when that point is. Yeah. But Jack is Probably three. Probably depends from dog to dog as well. Exactly. And breed and different things. But Jack is right. three. He's very capable of jumping. All Jack, right. come. All right. There we go. You see. <laughs> no problem jumping at all. Sit. All right. Come. Hop. Oh, yes. Very nice. Now I'm using my clicker, which is my way of telling Jack that he's done something right every okay. time he hops over. Now once you've mastered one jump, come. Jack, hop. <laughs> <laughs> Then you can make things more interesting depending on how big your house is yeah. and how much furniture you have. All right. You can add to this and wow. make more. Build so yourself your own little obstacle build course. Build yourself your dog home. obstacle course. It's so go. fun. Your friends will love you. <laughs> Hopefully both husband and wife love this game, but anyway. And make sure all right. that all valuables are off the table. Absolutely. <laughs> Jack, come. Come, boy. That's it. Jack, Jack. Sorry, let me no come worries. over here. here okay. We go. Oops. I'll pop okay. that back See, to you. Then that's good. You that want it to one. fall over or easily. Come, Jack. That's it. All right. Sit. Sit. Jack, come. Hop. Hop. Yes. Look at what that. a boy. <laughs> that is brilliant. Obviously, now that comes with a little, you know, time spent with your dog. Absolutely. Jack knows how to do this. This is not the first time. Jack, ready? Go. Jump. Hop. Hop. Or oopsie, detour. You see what? Yeah. You come. taught him how to I go. I did. Right? Come. Hop. Uh-uh. Come. <laughs> now Jack's getting tired. Hop. That's it. Come. So, so this is the other question. I mean, you can work with Sit. your dog until Stay. it just... Here we go. That's it. Hop. Come. <laughs> <laughs> Taking it that one step further. That one it's step further. It's called improvising. Yeah. I like it. That's but fantastic. this is the question I want to ask you because you can work with your dog for a certain period of time. All right. So after that, I mean, this is some of the signs you'll see that, okay, they're tired. Now you need to take a break, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. When you do, especially physical things, but mental things too. Dogs can get mentally tired. They can get physically tired. It's good to quit while you're ahead. Yeah. And if, when you're teaching a new trick, don't do too many repetitions. It's good to do maybe three, two or three and stop, leave yeah. it for a time and come back to mm. it. You don't want to exhaust your dog. You don't want to stress them too much about what you're asking. And a good rule of thumb with any training, doesn't matter what you're doing, is stop while it's on a good note. All right. Stop on a good note. Don't, don't go over. Perfect. Thank you, Karis, for joining us. It's it was a, a very cool trick. I love little Jack, but he needs to go rest right now. He's tired, yeah. <laughs> so log on to our website, expressoshow.com. There you'll find some very cool hints and tips on how to teach your dogs brand new tricks that just will blow your friends out of the water.